One of the nation's best hospitals, Boston Children's Hospital, is now the first major pediatric hospital in the country to establish a gender surgery center. According to their website, the center currently offers vaginoplasty, metoidioplasty, phalloplasty, chest reconstruction, best, breast augmentation, facial harmonization and other gender affirmation surgeries to eligible patients. All genital surgeries are only performed on patients 18 and up, but patients who want to pursue other surgeries could be as young as 15 if they meet eligibility requirements. A gender affirming hysterectomy is very similar to most hysterectomies that occur. A hysterectomy itself is the removal of the uterus, the cervix, which is the opening of the uterus, and the fallopian tubes, which are attached to the sides of the uterus. Some gender-affirming hysterectomies will also include the removal of the ovaries, but that's technically a separate procedure called a bilateral oophorectomy. And not every gender-affirming hysterectomy includes that, and people who are getting gender-affirming hysterectomies do not have to have their ovaries removed. A phalloplasty is a procedure to uh, basically create uh, uh, a penis or a phallus for uh, an individual who was born biological female and who seeks transition to uh, a male uh, gender. The procedure is done with plastic surgeons and urologists. The urologists manipulate the tissues in the surrounding area to lengthen the urethra. A new scrotum is created and uh, some of the anatomical parts of uh, the female anatomy are removed. The plastic surgeons are in charge of creating a new tissue that will ultimately meet the lengthened urethra and the additional tissue that's been moved to uh, create uh, the uh, neophallus. We typically utilize tissue from elsewhere for example, the forearm or the thigh is used. The plastic surgeons are also responsible for uh, providing sensation by doing the nerve coaptation so that the new phallus will have sensation and also responsible for reestablishing the blood supply and also to shape it in a way that appears more um, physiologically and anatomically um, like a natural one. For the first time in history, a marginalized group has a huge dollar sign on the top of their head. We have five children's hospitals in the United States promoting that. That's a phalloplasty. That's a bottom surgery. We have five children's hospitals in the United States telling girls that they can be boys at $70,000 a pop in a surgery that has a 67% complication rate. That will kill me from infection that I can't sue on. We're butchering a generation of children because nobody's willing to talk about anything. I have three kids at the age that they're doing this to kids. I'm not transphobic. I love my kids, and I love other people's kids, and you should too. This is wrong on so many levels. Thank you for calling National Hospital. Your call may be recorded for quality assurance. I was calling uh, for information about gender-affirming hysterectomies. Okay, so gender-affirming hysterectomy. I've been in touch with quite a few hospitals, um, and a lot of them, well, they said they won't do it for, for my 16-year-old, um, and then I was told that this hospital might, and I also saw it on your website. Um, so if you guys do uh, do it for a 16-year-old, I would be happy for you know to come for a consultation or whatever it takes. Let me get you over to the operator and I hate to transfer you. I just I just need to want to know if, if you guys do service that age, you know, before obviously before coming you know, coming all the way for 
an in-person consult and going through all the paperwork well, and everything. Yeah, it depends. And each department is different. Some some departments cut off for 18. How old, how old is your patient? 16. Okay. All right. So they're in the clear. I'll email the, um, Dr. Call and see what we can do. Right. In the meantime, if you still want me to transfer you, I can still transfer you to surgery. Hi, I was calling um, because I'm looking for information about the gender-affirming hysterectomies that you guys offer. Am I in the right place? Um, okay. Yes. Um, this is the clinic. Did you want to make an appointment? So I was just wondering, I've, I've contacted quite a few hospitals already. Um, it seems like it's difficult to find one that does the operation um, for my 16 year old and I was told that you guys do do that um, so if you do it for 16 year olds then yes I'd love to schedule um, an appointment a consultation whatever you need if, if you don't mind me asking um, what is your child gender change into so I can point you to the right direction yeah, well, he transitioned to a uh, male. You know, he already had the top surgery, um, and now we're looking for the hysterectomy. Okay, beautiful. So I'm going to transfer you to the GYN nurse line. One of the nurses will give you a call to give you more information and to let you know the steps and the protocol that they do for that, okay? Okay. So, so they do. So they would do it um, for at the, for that age. Yes. Okay, great. Is it a common procedure that you guys do for for that age? Yes. Um, we have um all different type of age groups that comes in for that. For the gender, for the hysterectomy. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just out of curiosity, do you know, like, what's the youngest age you would do it on? I'm not sure, but I have seen younger kids. And I'm not, you know, do the hip, I'm not allowed to say that, but I have <laughs> seen younger kids, like, younger than your child's age. Get the gender-affirming hysterectomy surgery? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, I really appreciate your help.